Hi peeps, Junction 6 here. Today's Sunday, but there is going to be some Blitz content, but not replays. Now we're going to be talking about the game this time. Well, more importantly, talking about the future of the game. And also, I want to give a shout out to you guys for sending me your replays. I don't think I get on here enough and thank you guys, because without you guys, there would be no channel. So a big thank you to you guys. Also, what's been going on recently is, of course, the birthday events. My original account was a account called Vantiv. Obviously, I started that 10 years ago. You know, I was one of the very first players in the game. And, of course, just to prove it, I logged onto the Vantiv account, which I haven't done in a long, long time. And yet, I got myself a Concept 1B. Very nice. And there it is in all its glory, look. I even got the camo for it, don't you? Yeah, thanks for that, Wargaming. Yeah, yeah, I haven't played my Vantive account in forever. So, but it's still active, obviously. I was really tempted to have a battle in the old Vantive account, but I didn't. My Junction 6 account, which is the one most of you know me from, been with that, what, seven years? Yeah, seven years, because I got one of those crates and I opened the crate and I got a Tankenstein which I already have so I got two and a half K I think it was in gold you know that's not too bad is it you know I've made about three K because I think I've got five or six or seven hundred or something gold and some other stuff you know camos and that it's not a bad little birthday thing is it you know especially as they didn't do anything for years at the beginning of the game to mark how long you'd been in the game I, was, I think it's quite good that they're doing it now anyway the other thing i want to talk about of course is unreal engine 5 apparently that's the way the game's going it's going to unreal engine 5 well that's going to be quite dramatic if it does i'm just wondering what it's going to be like i should imagine quite a few of you have played games that have run on Unreal Engine, they just look fantastic. Yeah, this is a promo which Wargaming themselves put out, and it's got some interesting things in it, like that, tanks going upside down, because at the moment your tanks will not flip upside down. Great fire on it, and that those bricks you can see just about every individual brick on it yeah so the graphic quality on it is just going to be well astounding and they say there are you excited i don't know if i'm excited or scared because is this going to change the game i think wargaming are banking a lot on this and i'm just wondering you know there's a lot of games out there at the moment running Unreal Engine 5. Even Fortnite runs on that. And a lot of these games are PC based, but they are quite compatible with mobile devices. You know, I think as long as you've got a decent enough iPad or, you know, Android phone, you should be okay. We've just got to hope that because they can do something, that they don't necessarily have to do it. Yeah, we don't want the screen absolutely full with graphics, do we? Yeah, our garage is bad enough, you can't even see your tank in it. Imagine going into a battle and every leaf and every tree and... Yeah, it's just going to be a nightmare if they overdo it, that's for sure. I just hope they remember to keep it simple for us guys. Anyway guys, let me know what you think in the comments.